traditionally peripheral arterial disease patients where they have uh, a common location of occlusion or blockage in their we call femoral artery which is in the thigh artery uh, these typically if they are along occlusions more than five ten uh, inches uh, they require a bypass which involve a cut from the groin a cut above the thigh or above the knee area and uh, bring a, either a piece of plastic or called PTFE or sometimes we can use patient's own vein as a conduit for bypass. Uh, this, uh, this will involve again making a surgery under anesthesia. General anesthesia typically um, require more pain control after the surgery. Um, a lot of patients go home within two to three days, that's average, but some people can stay longer, it depends on their medical comorbidities. Uh, this new procedure actually gives them an option of doing a percutaneous, less invasive procedure. So it's a stent graft, which is a stent or tube that's loaded into a catheter that's we call H French, which is like uh, probably three, four millimeters in diameter. It goes through the groin and uh, we go into the artery where the blockage is. And instead of going through the blockage, we actually go out of the artery into the vein, which is adjacent to it use the vein as a conduit with that stent and then we after we traverse the, the occlusion we go back to the artery into a healthy segment and we use that as a as a highway or as a bypass so uh, people call it endo bypass or endovascular bypass um, this way can again avoid open surgery just one cut patient can ambulate within a few hours after the surgery some patient can go home or maximum can stay in the hospital one day yeah. uh, i think it's a pretty big step uh, for less invasive um, patients more satisfied with this uh, of course we look for patency how long these to stay open unfortunately nothing is perfect nothing stays open forever but uh, with this new technique it's pretty comparable to open surgery so certain patients that we think that they are high risk for infection uh, for having complication from anesthesia we prefer maybe to do these procedures then so probably morbidly obese patients, patients with poor controlled medical condition like diabetes, patient that's already has some kind of infection in the groin or in the thigh artery, try to avoid any big open cuts. Uh, I think they'll benefit from these procedures. And with improvement of stents and technology, it may become like the standard of care in the future.